gon' make it Fuck what you say, I'm gon' take it If it's haters around, I'm gon' shake them If that bitch wanna clown, I'm gon' bake her If it's money around, I'm gon' cake it Backstabbing niggas talk around town They call fakers, all the bitches that I hang around Be money makers, heartbreakers, get dope by the pound I love the lies, lime lies, take a picture of me I'm at the club every night, getting lit, my homie Blow a draw, pop it more, be the shit, my homie Red carpet, head to toe, you know the niggas on me I see you watching, I ain't stopping, killer for the critics Yeah, I done did it, we done did it, niggas deal with it It ain't no shame, cause that's the name, play a play the game I forge ahead to sack my bread and count my blessings, man My blessings, man, so Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it Fuck what you say, I'm gon' take it Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it Alright, welcome back to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is Wan and I am your spiritual advisor. Thank you so much to all my day one messengers in your respective places for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, all the love here. Uh, if you're new, make sure you go ahead, subscribe, tap in. Please don't get caught lacking out in these streets. I don't want you to miss a motherfucking thing because when it goes down, I'm going to say I already you it was already discussed here all right so make sure you pull it up subscribe here hell follow me on all the social medias um sign up to patreon because that's where all the extended readings are going to be and where the real tea is spilt all right so do all of the above and like this video because i like my love up front all right let me know that you're really rocking with me all right uh, so yeah let's do that K-pop, hi! We're getting into ships. It's ship season. Yes, fall. <laughs> okay, that's what I heard. Uh, I don't know why specifically for I I mentioned ships in this one. So, tea cook. That's what we're getting into. Tea cook. Listen, I uh, <laughs> I didn't really do my homework. All I got is Jungkook and then the letter V. So I didn't. I don't know what whose name that is, but uh. That I feel like that represents the other person or something. It, it's uh, you know who it is. Hell, okay. And that's the point of me doing the read because I don't know nobody. Right. We talking about T Cook or Tay Harvey? <laughs> How do you say it? I don't know. Here we're gonna get into this ship and see uh, what is what. All right, because there's so much controversy, and I'm also feeling like we need to do an individual just on Jung Cook himself because this is an interesting uh, character here. It just got so many uh, people with panties up in their bunches, what I'm hearing here. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Um, I'm going to just hop right into it. I'm going to pull some romance uh, angel cards, but we're just asking about their bond, okay? Uh, everything doesn't have to be romantic. If it is, it's okay. All right, because it's be friendships, whatever. But y'all want to be nosy, so all right, we're gonna find out. Give me the energy around T Cook, T Cook, or T T A F A T. Okay, give me the energy for T Cook. I need three cards here. Okay, pop team. Oh shit, now that would explain what happened in G Cook. <laughs> that might explain some, I don't know. Alright, so reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life here. So, um, again, uh, this person, John Cook, has been attached to two people within the group of B, uh, BTS or whatever, friendship bond, whatever they got going on here but uh if you're if you're this far in the game then you would already know what happened in uh 
Jen Cook, G Cook, um, <laughs> here. So you could be like, oh, okay, so yeah, there may have been a separation or some, they may have took some time. I don't know, but somebody coming, somebody spinning the block, basically, is what we say. All right, give me the energy for T Cook. Somebody spinning the block, all right. Somebody's on cloud nine, okay? They may give them the energy like they're on cloud nine when they're with this person. All right. Definitely a thing that um, has some time attached to it. All right. Tea cook. Passion. All right, here. Yeah, man, always uh, allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy here. Somebody can't uh, be without you. I can't, can't uh, I'm hearing Mary J. Blige. Just can't be without you here. It was a kind of a toxic relationship, though, that song, if you think about it. And I'll be waiting up until you get home. Just couldn't sleep without you, baby. And if everybody want to love, how to, yeah, it's like somebody that knows they're dating a player, but they, they can't help themselves or whatever. So they spin the block because the connection is uh, just that deep. The bond is just that deep. So there's uh, obviously some sort of what I'm reading is that there's some sort of reconciliation here within this pairing um, because they care deeply about each other. There's passion uh, there. All right. Give me one more bond energy for T Cook. Yeah, one person makes the other. Uh, one person's more dominant in this. Uh, more masculine dominant energy here. Fuck! This came up again. Damn. Well, this one makes sense. This one makes sense. If it's going, this is a uh, this is karmic energy here. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just somebody playing around. I mean, there are feelings here, but uh, somebody knows somebody will always be there. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, and then we have uh, keep an open mind here. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So yeah, this is basically again someone trying to convince. Um, possibly multiple people to uh, entertain them uh, here. And this uh, really is uh, definitely clarifying the uh, other reading here. Uh, false mask here. Somebody... Um, I don't know why. It just feels like somebody can't be honest about... Uh, who they are and how they just kind of want to play the field and kind of want to it's giving string along here but someone is very good at uh very manipulative and using uh people's feelings you know uh against one another here pulling uh strings kind of uh, but there's a lot of passion there's a lot of chemistry here deep deep bond all right but um it just feels it just feels like a lot of uh, cycles and a lot of unnecessary back and forth. And I feel like since it's a rec since this is some form of reconciliation here, um, that someone's coming back to basically be like, look, it is what it is. Maybe even tell them about this other person here that they've been hiding uh, or this other whatever this is okay this is the third party energy here we're talking about ships and we're talking about love connections or whatever here someone may be coming forward and saying hey you know explaining this situation this is what it is but there there is some sort of deception about uh, this reconciliation and them coming um, back here it may be convinced uh, it may be to convince everybody to get the fuck along I don't <laughs> I don't know somebody smooth as fuck I tell you that <laughs> all right I don't know who that is could be John Cook or uh, I don't know who this be I don't, I don't know child but somebody uh, use what they got to get what they want. Players Club <laughs> type shit. I don't know. Y'all know nothing about that. That's how it work. Look it up. Y'all know anything I say in this video. Look it up. Listen to the uh, music. All that stuff is relevant. Okay. 
uh, give me the overall uh, love oracle for their bond energy here. Um, so yeah, somebody's coming back with a, a for reconciliation. They know what to say and all that, but there is some. There's a motive uh, behind it. Yeah, girls just want a diamond or a girl's best friend. Somebody loves a. Uh, <laughs> Who is this? Marilyn Monroe child. Highly desired. All right. And know it too. Smart as fuck. Plays dumb. All right. So I don't know who that is uh, in this pairing or whatever. Who plays the dumb, dumb blonde. Uh, may have a mature voice, but highly beautiful, highly uh, desired, highly sought after. Uh, may have some acting background um, here. Highly pursued here. Um, oh, this says, um, orgasms don't even exist. It's better to spend your time reading Ulysses. <laughs> Enjoy your wedding day. You will only get to do that three or four times in your life. Never pick stability over a good time. Yeah, somebody just want to play the field here. But that, I feel like they got to uh, possibly, uh, I mean, he's a, uh, John Cook is the only common denom denominator between uh, these parents here. So that's what I'm guessing. Here is somebody saying, deal with it, and this is the way it is. It ain't going to change nothing. Marilyn Monroe got married, uh, hooked up several times, got several commitments. Uh, maybe a serial uh, committer, <laughs> committal, committer, committal, committal. Somebody got a problem with committals, but they, uh, child. They play the role, but again, with that deception card, they're very, uh, they're very, very uh, smart here. And uh, somehow they, uh, I mean, Marilyn Monroe had uh, presidents and shit at her motherfucking feet behind the scenes. A lot of behind the scenes, down low, uh, on the low type of uh, energy here. And then she had uh, people, you know, that she uh, dated and husbands in the forefront while still having suitors and had people pursuing her in the background here. All right, so that's somebody that represents somebody's energy here. All right, Marilyn Monroe was an actress, model, pinup, and a singer. All right, so somebody might like taking risque poses or something like that. Born Norma Jean, uh, when Hollywood discovered her curves and added peroxide to her hair, she was renamed Marilyn Monroe. So somebody may have started the group one way and then came in and. <coughs> I don't want to talk about that. Came in one way and totally changed up, glowed up, came in as kind of really frumpy, dumpy or whatever. And I, look, my voice is like, <laughs> they don't like to talk about it. <clears throat> yeah, they don't like to talk about it. Somebody might have body issues or something like that or come from a really uh, background or something like that. Um, they've always had it, but I feel like after making some changes or something like that, whatever changes they made really uh, glow them up and made them highly desirable uh, to others, okay, in their uh, industry here. Um, changed their name, um, small parts in All About Eve, leading role in Niagara, gentlemen, you know, I can't even talk. I can't eat like somebody, I don't... Uh, I don't, this is, I feel like this is not, uh, the better part of somebody's, uh, I don't know. It's like I'd rather not say, rather not speak on that type of energy. In 1954, she served the, uh, seven year itch, married baseball legend, uh, Joe DiMaggio. Yes, because Marilyn had several high profile, uh, marriages here. Um, starred in Bus Stop, newly married to Arthur M Miller. Won a gold, Golden Globe. I can't even talk. I don't know who this is. So does somebody stutter? Or does somebody have a stuttering problem? Or do one of these people in the ships, do they trip Do they trip over their words or something like that? Why, why can't I even talk now all of a sudden? Uh, something, something. Oh, well, you know, too, Marilyn Monroe did have a presence that literally made men stutter, made people swoon. Passion card here, okay? With her mere presence, they're just putty, okay? So I don't know who energy represents this in tea cook, but somebody is like that. They make people stumble over them, work, 
over their words, get mixed up. Uh, yeah, fumbling all over themselves just to serve this person, to give this person uh, whatever they want. Uh, probably, and I get the impression that she probably talked a bunch of uh, men into whatever and giving her whatever here. Uh, basically, that's the overall energy for the dominant person um, in this connection here. All right, let me get some love oracles. Give me um, John Cook's energy in this T. Cook ship. He, boy, you twin flames with everybody. Unless you're spinning a block and you feeling like, uh, yeah, this may be up. Uh, but it, well, G. Cook got the uh, okay. That's for Patreon. But anyway, <laughs> Jika's energy in this is twin flames, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, coupling, complement each other. All right. And then I have a uh, phoenix here, which is new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and a changed mind here. So that would definitely uh, give me, uh, clarify and confirm the reconciliation energy of somebody spinning the block and wanting to give something another try. In the other reading, there was a separation. There was some type of breakup or disruption here. Uh, spirit can pull from past, present, or future. I don't know. Okay, I'm just here to tell you what the fuck the cards say. Okay, but uh, somebody's uh, spinning the block because they feel like this person uh, meshes more uh, with them, possibly. All right, clarify this twin flames and phoenix here. Why do they want to come back? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, bitch. <laughs> okay, so I have self indulgences and healthy choices uh, here. All right. Um, self self indulges. Focus on self self worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Making healthy choices. <coughs> I'll say they don't. They they don't. It look like somebody want the good the the good girl or the good person or something like that. Here, making healthy choices in love and life. Self love. Self care. Being happier. So maybe somebody feel like if uh this per this particular energy. Um, because in the other Jakuk energy, it was very polarizing. That was very specific. I get the feeling that, uh, someone is spinning the block to come back, uh, to this connection, to this bond to, because they feel like it is the he he healthy choice meals. Okay. When you're trying to get your life right and, and do right and you get around the partner that is, uh, kind of grounded. Maybe one person is very, uh, smart. Um, here, maybe one person feels it's like I'm getting with you because I feel like uh, you can help me uh, heal me and get over uh, being this a asshole, this, this, uh, you know, this rake um, kind. And um, yeah, like they're the uh, they're the better partner. They're the, the they're the healthier partner. But again, this person is a serial uh, dater here. But I I believe eventually Marilyn. <clears throat> eventually uh eventually kind of settled down a little bit but yeah 